Hey everyone, let's take a look at the LEGO Minecraft The Coral Reef set. This is one of the really cheap ones, but it is incredibly colorful, vibrant, and feature-filled. Not only does this come with a requisite player minifigure, but you also get three mobs here in addition to all of the terrain. We'll look at the player minifigure as well as the drowned separately, but first let's look at this little puffer fish. That's kind of cool. Colors are pretty good. The build I think is respectable for just a standard size and it just uses that one print on the front. So that works pretty well and they also do include the, the clear piece underneath to act as a stand which makes it easy to, to rotate that around if you want and you can optionally combine that clear piece with the one that this bigger fully inflated puffer fish is on top of. So that's even cooler looking and an even better more appropriate build in my opinion. That looks that looks really good. Uh, yes, yes, and yes. I'm super happy with this. This set just, uh, I mean, on, on account of the pufferfish, if nothing else, is inspiring me to do some, some underwater extension to my own personal Minecraft area. Now, personally, I really liked the, the update aquatic for all of its colorfulness. I mean, the, just what they did to the, to the underwater zone in general. Uh, was was amazing. So this has some coral in it. You got some hard coral as well as soft coral on top, which is relatively simple. This is just some some basic. Uh, is that supposed to be kelp or seagrass? I guess that's supposed to be kelp. Yeah, the way that that it's growing up. And there's another bit of kelp over here. And sea pickles. They could have included more sea pickles. I love sea pickles. First time I saw those, I was like, what? And they're glowing. Oh, I bet you that. Oh, they can spread. <laughs> You know, the way that they grow and everything. So here's another bit of hard coral, some more soft just on top. You know, these are super simplified here, but they work. And then this is obviously a, <laughs> ironically, obviously a, a bit of hidden treasure with a very simple mechanism to get it out. The idea is that you get it out from the back. And of course they could have made this so that you just slide it out, but it actually has a simple little, uh, little technique mechanism built in there where you turn this knob on the side, which is kind of working in harmony with the color scheme of the rest of the thing. You turn it and it uses that rubber piece to just kind of <laughs> kind of spit this out. So the the treasure chest stays in place. You know, as you move this whole thing around, it's not it's not allowing this to slide out. So that's nice. What is inside of here? Well, you got a fish. Okay. Is that uh, cooked salmon or something? <laughs> Some kind of fish. And then this heart of the sea. Now I would I, I feel like I should be much more excited to see this in game than here. Like here, it's just a stud, but it's a teal stud. So I'm actually excited to see this here because it's a teal stud. Uh, that is not something that's that's easy to get from Lego right now. So I'm actually happy for that, even though, you know, it's a very, very basic thing. Just a single piece of plastic. The drowned looks pretty nice and it has an extra bonus in the form of a sea nautilus or just nautilus. There's no such thing as a land nautilus. So why would we call it a sea nautilus? Yeah, he has one and it's in his hand. So if you end him, <laughs> you can get that good printing around the back of that torso as well. Good level of detail. Production work is not perfect here, but it's not it's not terrible. Uh, just generally, I'm definitely happy with that mob. And on the right is just Alex, but she has something new in the form of a turtle head. <laughs> sea, sea turtle shell uh, to get that, that water breathing. And she also has enchanted leggings on and uh, a gold sword there for some reason, but uh, not enchanted, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, Good to get the, the new color for that, which is actually bright green, not regular green. And otherwise, yeah, that's it for the minifigs. The spare parts selection for this set is very generous for the size of the whole thing because you get an extra sea nautilus, you get an extra teal stud, aka heart of the sea, and you get an extra regular sized puffer fish face. That is fantastic. Plus on top of that, four cool different colors of flower pieces. Happy with this. Arguably the best news of the day is that this set only costs $10 US. And uh, I'm gonna say that's great. I wouldn't want it to be any more expensive. You know, this feels like the right price for this amount of stuff, but the stuff that is here is really good. So this is another case of Lego doing the $10 price point, which I think is just a golden spot on the market. Well, and really, really, really well. It is no wonder that these sold out 
pretty quickly. I am very happy for everyone that, that got these. I hope that LEGO will continue to make them for a while, keep you know restocking them until everybody has their has their fill of them, you know, stock up, get more drowned if you want, get more of those awesome puffer fish and all the extra pieces that can be used to make just beautiful underwater scenes. Or, I mean, a lot of people end up using those those parts for their own stuff, like the, the flower tops and everything. So yeah, this is just all good. I can't complain about anything here at all. It's it's more than I would want it to be in just about every respect for its price. So super happy about that. I did record the build of this, the pure build in real time, as of the time of this recording here of this review. I'm still debating whether I'm gonna do a speed build version of a time-lapse version of it because it'll be so short, but I might just do it just for kicks. So check for that if you're interested. I'll keep bringing you more reviews here and I'll talk to you again soon.